Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. Wondering really how all my adventures doing. So, we had a few voting polls. We had a voting poll between what genre we should play. And we also had a voting poll since MMORPGs won. And Grand Fantasia won that. And I had one final poll of what class you guys wanted to see me play. Since I only, there's only four classes I've never truly played. And Ranger won that. Now, Ranger is going to be pretty easy to build up late game. Early game is the struggle when it comes to Ranger. Which I'm not looking forward to. But you know what? I'm confident in my skill as a veteran Grand Fantasia player that I can, uh, I can do that. So let me just go ahead and make my character and get ready. All right, we're in. So, uh, everything's going to be fairly fast with me. If you guys want to see like a longer form of a video of me doing everything, do leave it down in the comments because I can always do longer videos that you guys can sit and relax to. Or I can just do jump cuts like I'm about to do in this video. Well, speed ups and jump cuts. That's what I'm going to do for at least this video since we've already covered this island inside of our tutorials. Because I can just do voiceovers and stuff like that. If you guys prefer, you know, raw and uncut, put it down in the comments. That is the only way I will know which one you guys prefer, the jump cuts or the speed ups. Oh god, my soul. Oh, that's locked. That's why I can't move anything. Take all of this off. And I need to build my bow is one thing I need to do. Oh yeah, I can make arrow arrows too. Ranger's gonna be interesting to figure out, that's for sure. Apparently my character has a mount. Why does this character have a mount? That's throwing me off a bit because is that a new thing? I shouldn't have a mount here. Huh. Okay. All right, let's go do our crab quest next. That mount would have been very helpful though. Not gonna lie to you. All right, we turned to that quest. Time to, time to slay some crabs. I wish I had my bow right about now. Sadly, I don't. Um, why did that crab run? But uh, the major things we're going to need for late game when dealing with late game is going to be probably... Probably purple items. So it's either going to be between a purple sword or one of my offhands being a purple sword with some rune stones. Ah, oh, I should have made that bow. And when I say rune stones, uh, we haven't really talked about that. Rune stones are basically like special stones that you can put on certain quality weapons. Like the yellow rune stones are only placed on purple quality weapons, such as, such as these. Anything with a purple name. Oh, don't I have a sword? Uh, let's see, can I use that? That's one handed, right? Oh, this is gonna be perfect at level 70. But um, 
what I'm going for is that we'll, we're probably going to go through the main quest. And once we catch up with the main quest, we're going to call it completed until the next expansion or something comes out. Hey, you don't have your table on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to collect these. They uh, gave are giving these out for free for the anniversary. I also got to do the anniversary event, which gives me, uh, if I remember correctly. Hold on. In this collection, they should have the 20th. I don't know. This is 10th anniversary. But these should be back right now, right? I'm pretty sure these yellow gears should be back. I hope they're back. Okay, so we have our bow until we get to the free bow we get for class change. Okay, so we need to collect one more. Okay. I forgot, my key binding changed since I um, am on my new PC now. Add a whole layout. I'm used to I being inventory for games. So I always turn, turn that around. So I can't use a bow into level six, unfortunately. So yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Uh, I guess we're gonna speed it up here. Get done with this a little bit faster. Oh, I just realized I actually have my legacy gear for Archer. For at least for a uh, level two. What is this? Uh, should it be? Yeah, it's a maximum of 30. I don't have the rest of my legacy gear though. So that sucks. Dang. If I had the rest of the legacy gear, I would be happy. But I don't. All I have my legacy gear for um, is Druid. Alright, we just found the book. Finally. One of the little fishes dropped it. Um, I've decided for uh, this character, I will not use anything in my archive. At least until like level 70. Because that's when I can use my purple gear. But just to make it interesting, I probably won't be using like any of the stuff that is in here. At least into high levels. I don't really think I have that many uh, bows, right? I have level 70 bow. Yeah, I haven't really worked on anything bow related. Level 50 is going to be our... Our real legendary start. And I'm going to have to make that weapon. That's not going to be fun. So now we turn in the book quest. That's done. And now we gotta go kill something to level up. I chose the deer as my sacrifice. Now we can go ahead and get our archer out. Hunter. 
Half of the hunter. So now it gave us some starter gear we can do. Oh, it actually gives you one of the guns too. Oh yeah, it, it auto fills your ammo. I forgot about that. Which is actually pretty nice. Um, if you guys want damage, musket is the best way to go. It just takes longer to shoot. Bow and arrow is a lot faster. Uh, I think by default we get... Do we get dual withing? I don't think we get dual withing by, de by default. Our attack speed gets increased, though. I think Assassin class does get dual wielding. Um, if I remember correctly, Ranger is mostly using great swords. If I remember correctly. Actually, now that I think about it. But we can dual wield. I don't think I have any good great swords, do I? No, not really. I haven't really focused on great swords either. <laughs> well, jeez. I think most of the stuff I bought inside of auction, auction house. I don't think I have this right. Yeah, because I've never played archer, so I don't have those costumes. Meh, I'm not gonna lie. The hat of, like, hunters is kind of whack. But, you know, the rest of the outfit looks kind of dope. Alright, let's go uh, finish the other part of the quest. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, then I gotta go back and do that one. Oh, no. Okay, so Archer did go through quite a bit of changes. Wait a minute. Is that a melee? Oh yeah, that is a melee. Oh, it's a poison attack. I don't remember Archer having melee abilities. Whoops. Well, Hunter starting out with melee abilities. That's actually interesting. Not only that, we have this buffing skill as well. I really don't know too much of what changed to Archer right now. Just because, like I said, it's all new. So... It's gonna be interesting. I can see that they're... I feel like their animations are a lot faster. Oh, this poisons too. Oh no, this is the immobilize ability. So I can immobilize and walk back. How long does that last? Ah, oh, it doesn't last long enough for it to like even remotely count. <laughs> I guess it's a good strong hit to use when an enemy's up on you. Okay, I'm almost. 20 in my bows. Right now, my sprite is out-leveling me. For now, my sprite is out-leveling me. That will quickly change. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to get a quest here. I will also put a time step of how long it took me to actually complete the island. Just off of making this video. You guys will probably see it a little bit shorter than what I'm actually experiencing. I like it though. Because we're able to kill enemies before they even touch us now. I think it's mostly because of the little starting gear they give us now. I think that's mostly it. Um, I do want to put stats on this. I 
want to kill everything before they touch me. That's for sure. I think I'm going to leave the island at level 10. Just the old thing I used to do. Oh yeah, I didn't do this. <laughs> oh no, yes I did. I just didn't put them on, did I? I knew that. <laughs> the pendant crit won't matter right now. That won't matter until late game at least. Right now this is the most important thing to go for. Uh, back to the um, runestone conversation I was having. Uh, the rune I'm going to be looking for is the cage rune, which has a chance of immobilizing an enemy off of a hit. And this can this can constantly happen too. That's why runestones are so strong. But I would have to roll HP, agility, or mana agility when it comes to like giving it stats though. So. That's the only issue. And those things are expensive to get from other people, though. They'll sell at high price. Dang, I was kind of hoping the runestone was in here. So I could show you guys an example. Here's an example of uh, other runestones. You know, this one would give you, like, plus 6% magic. This one give you plus 8% crit, stuff like that. But the thing is, you got to read on here. Can only be equipped to purples. The sad part is you can't equip this to red gear. Purple. Purple, like, I don't understand why this exists. But anything that is purple related towards runestones can only be placed on purple. I was thinking to myself, would it make more sense? For those runestones to also go on red gear. Apparently not to the devs. Oh, thank you for the teleportation. That I definitely did not need. <laughs> okay, now we got our bow skin. And we're gonna go... I think that's all the quests. Yeah, that's all the quests on the island so far. I don't need that anymore. We got the quests out of it. Uh, let's go do a little bit of hunting and get to level 10. Uh, since I'm technically done with the item, well, done with the island, uh, it has been 28 minutes. And this is with like stopping and talking a little bit. So it hasn't been like too long. How much XP are you guys gonna give? Too close. Okay, as I've been killing these things, I learned something very interesting. Your three has a chance of using this. And it even uses it when it's still on cooldown. So that's very interesting because it says 
a 20% chance of casting it. Okay, that didn't cast that time. So it's probably going to come off cooldown by the time I uh, try it again. That actually kind of interests me a little bit. Uh, I'm almost level 10. Uh, the dragons are the easiest way to level up. This is the one thing I do like about playing Archer, is that I don't really have to move anywhere. I can just swap targets. This isn't going to take long as most other classes that got to actually run up in melee. And the Dragons is the best source of XP on the island, to be honest. Unfortunately, it's... They are. Okay. There it is. It just used it. So it goes, it re goes back on cooldown after using it. And I can earn an extra stack by attacking. But these guys don't survive long enough for that to even matter, unfortunately. It gives us a slight advantage to like the outer areas when we leave at 10. But like I said, this was like way before they started giving us like these starter weapons to leave the island with. So the starting city, I think we're going to start start in this cause because I feel like that'll be more beneficial to us. Plus, we'll be closer to, uh, what was it, Prairie Cave, PC, dungeon, which is going to be our first dungeon that we enter in the game. I really don't even have to use, like, those special abilities. I think I just one-shot them no matter what. So I'm just wasting mana. But yeah, we probably won't do Parry Dungeon inside of this video. We'll probably do that uh, next video, which will probably, hopefully, be tomorrow. If I get this video up, up, up in time. But we're definitely going to do um, Blue Bay. Which is the next area after this island. Uh, so here's pretty much how I'm going to start it. So... With this, we're going to pick Kaz, and we're going to go through Blue Bay, then Plains. Then by the time we're done with Plains, it will be PC time, PC dungeon time. And then we will start heading to Sprite Forest. Then I think Sprite Forest will send us here. Then we'll be in Plague, and by the time we're done with Plague, well, actually, I think after uh, BP here, I want to then go to Plague. Then after Plague, I want to do the island. Because this is like a little off island that pretty much anybody can do. This isn't like an actual like line. This is not part of this, funny enough. At least I don't think so. Oh, I guess it is. Never mind. I didn't actually know that uh, Coconut Island was a part of this side. I thought that was just an island anybody can go to. Technically it is, but I didn't think it was part of that quest line. I never did it when I started on that side. Which that, which this path over here is jail. All of this is gel starting. Okay, we're level 10 now. I like how the bow... <laughs> the bow doesn't even count towards me like actually using it. That is actually hilarious. It counts as a two-handed weapon. And it only shows up when I'm meleeing. <laughs> when I'm actually using it, it goes back to my normal bow. That is... That is quite a uh, flaw there, devs. 
<laughs> but okay. Now we get the depart. First, I'm going to go buy my skills. Then we're going to do the next island. Uh, the official time of me leaving is 40 minutes. That's how long it took to get to level 10 on this island. Is 40 minutes. And it took all of my arrows because I started they gave me like 250 arrows yeah that that was basically all of my arrows just for that <laughs> all right I'm gonna need you to craft more arrows for me buddy these are are these level 10 yes they are all right let's go craft a lot of those uh lightning reflex is now a passive okay it's an evasion passive now Okay, that's not too bad, to be honest. Did any other time increase? No. Wait a minute. Is that a knockback? Okay, as it says, the mobility and paralyze does not work on bosses, but if that is a knockback, that is amazing. Nothing lives long enough to actually see if it's a knockback. So we'll, I guess we'll see inside of the actual dungeon itself. So I guess we'll use the rest of, uh, the rest of my arrows before I actually switch to new ones. You can also buy arrows inside of here as well. The cheap ones. That way uh, they give us for free. You can also buy bags here too. We're going to buy the book. Well, even though the, the book actually doesn't give too much. Never mind. Um, a little bit of a question, if you guys have made it this far. Well, this isn't really too much of, like, a difficult question. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, so we can make our first orange weapon. Orange weapons aren't archivable, unfortunately. It would be great if they were, because that would help, like, very well with starting with new characters. And give us more things to add to our archive. But unfortunately, it's it's not like that. Huh. Oh, the build boss is over here. But what I was about to say is... Do you guys prefer it if I just freshly do this character without touching my archive buffs or anything like that or would you guys prefer me to use those to make it quicker like I don't mind either one it's all up to you guys the preferences on how you guys want me to tackle this if you guys want me to tackle it by using stuff in my archive or my other characters crafted or you do you guys want to see this from like a new player standpoint and what you guys would have to actually go through Because I can do the whole new account thing. Give you guys a whole feel of what everything you're going to do. Without touching my archived items. Alright, my uh, sprite is now officially level 20 for its bows and it cannot go any higher than that until I hit level level 20. Somewhere around level 20 I believe. So now I can focus on the other things which is bringing up my scavenge because I'm going to need that. Ah, turn these quests in. It really shouldn't take too long to finish this area. Probably about like, it could be 20 to 30 minutes. 
Really depends on how I tackle this. And since I'm not using my mount. Could be a little bit longer. I'm getting very lucky with these XP events. Then again, I think it's just low level is how that goes off. Because in higher levels, you do, you don't get that lucky with uh, XP events, that's for sure. Need five happy crabs, okay. Let's go ahead and destroy these happy crabs, grab all that, then we'll go destroy this little slime rabbits. Okay, as I'm turning in this quest, there is something I wanted to talk about. And that's the fact that X-Legend has just gained access back to um, Twin Saga, which is under one of their old title names. Um, what, what, what was the name? Astral something? I can actually go to their site and... Uh, I should look that look at it. But yeah, X Legend just gained one of their old titles, which is Twin Saga. Twin Saga wasn't really all that popular to be honest. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Oh, it's Astral Tail. So Twin Saga has been changed to Astral Tail now. So Here's the other thing. If X Legend is gaining access back to their older titles, there is a chance that we could get Dragon Ma Hunter back. And I will let you know if we get Dragon Ma Hunter back, I'm going back to Dragon Ma Hunter. Because Dragon Ma Hunter is how my channel got popular. If most of you guys don't know that, that's how my channel took off, was making guides for that game. I don't know. Oh, Scott, excuse me. I don't know if I'll make more guides like that again. Because I, I was, like, very committed. And that was when I wasn't, like, working, too. That was when I was, like, jobless. <laughs> I am I am no longer jobless. I can't, I can't do that. Hold on, can I test this? Okay, I was hoping it wouldn't kill you, but apparently you had other plants. Where's Baconator? I know you're alive over here somewhere. Or did somebody kill you already? Hopefully not, because I think you have a decent HP pool to where I can test this. If not, I think the crab is still alive. Is that Baconator? It is. Die. Please don't kill. Oh, it is. Okay, it's a knockback skill. Thank God, because Archer definitely needed that. We definitely didn't have that. That's new. So they made it a little bit easier to start out with a hunter. I was kind of hoping they would have took away the whole distance BS altogether, but you know. But then again, you got to think about like games like WoW is still doing the whole if you're within range, you can't do anything type beat. So I, I guess they're going to stick to their guns on that. Okay, there's another quest over here I got to go to as well. The crazy part is there haven't been many sprites dropping.
Because I was kind of hoping for a sprite with a with a pill, so I can get my level twenty uh, armor. But I haven't had the luck of that, unfortunately. Oh, we're gonna continue. Just my scavenge. I can technically go to the next area right now, but I want to go here. And technically, since you have your stones now, you can teleport to that dude. Anybody with the green name technically has a quest. I just want that to be known. These are... That teleport used my uh, transport stones. You can also turn these transport stones on auto teleport and it'll... And when you ever click this, it will automatically take you to that location. So do make sure you know that anytime you use auto teleport and click this, it's going to take you to that location of that enemy or to that NPC. So you'll be using those. It cuts down on a little bit of travel since most of whenever you complete an area, it gives you um, those transport stones to signify that you did the main story. I know the main story doesn't show up until like at least level 50, I believe. That I know of. Wait, where are the channel crabs over here, right? Let's go do uh, Sunny. Oh, there you go. There they are. With the Archer, I'm going to have to tell you this. Positioning is going to be a thing. Like, very much a thing. Because if we still have our jump back ability, you guys got to remember that we have to, like, actually line up if we jump against the wall we're not going anywhere so make sure to line up your character like to different spots if you decide to play archer okay since i'm here i will right click this okay so at least i know that still works So you can get off at least a basic attack and a ability by doing that. So power strike is going to be extremely useful here. Oh, it gave me a katana book. Too bad I cannot use that. Not katana book, katana scroll. Yeah, can't use that. I gotta go. You can also buy those. Uh, I am thinking about building full evasion. I'm thinking about it. I already have, uh, is this one or two? two? I guess I'll grab that too. Alright. And we are done with Blue Bay. Uh, Blue Bay, after leaving the island, island at 40, only took like 17 minutes. Uh, if you guys want to know how to get to Deserted Island, it's by talking to Captain right here. And he'll take you to the island. I I just remember that. That most of you guys don't know how to do that. And I wasn't thinking. My bad. Yeah, talk to Captain. He'll take you back. Then you come over here and talk to him again if you guys want to go there. And go to Deserted Island.
Oh, yeah. You get... Oh, I didn't know she actually uh, quick teleported you there. Oh, she teleports you to the front of it. Oh, that's nice. I actually never talked to any other NPC that didn't have um, quests. So that's one way to do it. <laughs> uh, with that said, I'm going to end it off there. Get this video all edited and stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. It has been fun starting this up. And I'm enjoying this so far. I, I'm going to be very interested to see a lot of what Archer has gotten changed. What a lot of their skills have become passives now. So we're going to see a lot of what has changed for them. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.